laid back and kicking it, let's head back to the studio. Here's Rob. The Prairie Mobile text line is open at 306-840-8777 as we welcome you back into the uh, Rod Peterson Show. I'm Darren DuPont, in for Rod Peterson, who's in Saskatoon getting ready uh, to be on stage tonight at the Kinsman Sports Celebrity Dinner with all the great goaltenders in the history of the NHL. That's going to be cool. Ed Belfour among that group and Martin Brodeur. On the text line, Irene, watching in Saskatoon, says, Awesome show. Thank you. Uh, I'm off next Tuesday, so how do I get to the Wendell Clark? Clark's watch party. Yes, Wendell Clark is going to be on this program Tuesday, um, so that's great. And the folks at uh, Wendell Clark's uh, uh, Bar and Grill in Saskatoon really excited that Wendell's going to come on. So they're having oh. a watch party at Wendell's in Saskatoon. So Irene and everybody in Saskatoon, all you got to do, head on down to Wendell's, and uh, you can sit, enjoy it there, and uh, the show will be on. They'll uh, enjoy the watch party in Saskatoon. That's great. Yeah, that's for sure. That will be fun. And that's where i got to buy Rod lunch tomorrow, because <laughs> uh, the Pats beat the Blades in a shootout <laughs> back on Wednesday, and uh, I owe them lunch for that. A um, little bit better night for uh, your Winnipeg uh, Jets there, Smitty. Oh, they played 4-2 well. over yeah. St. Louis. Yeah, yeah, it was good. I watched it, and yeah, they were, uh, they surprised me. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of pressure on them now, eh? Oh, big time. They just got to keep on winning. How do you feel about the Dustin Bufflin situation? I, it's sad. Like, yeah. I, I sure wished he was there, but uh, you know, he, I, 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 you know what? I don't think he's coming back, and, and, uh, the, 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 the one good thing is this is going to open up some cap space, and hopefully, like I said to Bomber yesterday, Hopefully they'll be able to grab a, a defenseman, and because uh, that'll help for sure. You know, losing Truba, losing Buff, and and uh, and uh, there's one other one that Meyer. they lost. Uh, yeah, Myers to uh, Vancouver. Yeah. That's those are good losses. You can't lose losses. three guys like that. It's though. very very difficult. You I mean, know, you should have. They should have done something. Just Pionk, keep one of them, eh? Pionk has done a good job. Marcy, I love Marcy. Oh I yeah. Love, you know, and Pullman, I really love. I saw Pullman play University of North Dakota. Yep. And uh, really loved him there. And the kid came up, and he's done a great job. Now he's hurt, so. It's it's tough, you know. I, you should have a poll question: Who's going to miss the playoffs? Cal- yeah, Calgary, Winnipeg. You know, it's uh, it, it'll be interesting. Yeah. Very, it's going to be fun. Edmonton, yeah. Calgary, Winnipeg, yeah. Vancouver, now, all in that Pacific Division. Now Edmonton's lost a couple in a row now, so it's uh, you know, I mean, they lost last night, yeah. and uh, the, I think the time before isn't that isn't that true? Yeah, yeah. So I mean, tough one to St. Louis or to San Jose. Sorry, San Jose. That's a game Six, that three. yeah, that you, you got to win those. You want to win that game. Yeah. Colorado winning last night. Uh, the Devils blanking Philly. 5 nothing. The Islanders over the Kings. Vegas spanking Florida 7-2. to That's where Rod will be next weekend as he heads down to yeah. check out the Golden Knights and visit with them. And the Canucks lost, too, last night. You know, I'd, I'd kind of like to follow Rod around. <laughs> be interesting, <laughs> all, wouldn't it? <laughs> all, all the different places he goes. You, too. I'd love to, you know, because well, you, you go... You, it, it, not on that level yet. No, but still, I mean, well, you're young, don't forget. You're, 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 that'll happen. But uh, you know, Rod goes so many neat places, and he knows so many kid players or people. And I've never seen a guy like so many people. Like he he likes everybody. Yeah, he does. It, That's it, a good point. It, it is. I mean, he he, he sure did, does. And he he has so many friends, so many people right across all over the yeah, place. He could yeah. he could be in. Timbuktu, and you probably know somebody. Call somebody up. Okay, let's uh, let's go have a. You know, any restaurant in town, you go with them, and you will run into three or four. I people. know, and I keep saying this: we're going to get a camera on them. We're just going to follow them around. Yeah. it'll be great programming. Well, it, for really sure. it will be. Yeah, yeah. yeah the daily vlog, yeah. uh, and not a setup. Vlog. Not a setup either. Just go. Oh no, you just follow, and you see it all the time, right? Yeah. yeah. And it, it's tough because we go to these. Um, events and I think of the tailgate parties. Yeah, um, and you guys have stopped by and see our tailgate party before the Ryder games. Yeah. Uh, we have the the tent set up and we got merchandise and yeah. we got wa- the the Rod Peterson water bottles. I don't have one. Oh, you got yours, John. The water bottle. Um, yeah, there you go. Uh, Smitty's got his. There you go. So we have those at the Ryder tailgate parties before every Ryder home game, and we just you know have a great time. Yeah. But there's some times when I can't be there. And I know if I'm not there, I got to find somebody else because you can't rely on Rod to run the tent and sell the merchandise. Yeah. You can't yeah. because he's here, 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 oh, yeah. here. Yeah. Everybody wants a piece oh, yeah. of him. Yeah. And more, more than that, he wants to make sure he gives a piece of his time to everybody. Sure. So you got to have somebody. He's the most popular sportcaster they've ever had, at least in my generation anyway. Think about 20 years with the Riders. How many years with the Pats? Yeah. And yeah. then he was up in PA. 
be. I mean, it's, oh, yeah. See, you're, you're going that way. Yeah. You're, you're, you're going to be... Working on it. Yeah, for sure. Uh, working on it. Trying to hit the province. Monty's watching from Saskatoon. He says, hi, Craig. You're looking good, buddy. Loves your jersey. Uh, I saw that earlier. Yeah. Jason's watching from Phoenix. Uh, future home of the Strevler. Uh, I like that. So good morning, uh, that's Jason. That's right. Yeah, that's and uh, Mike was watching, uh, I think, from Maui. Um, but well, he liked the opening. He liked the, uh, he liked the graphic at the beginning with me slamming Rod's. Rod's graphic down there and throw it in my own. I love the Darren DuPont <laughs> show graphic. Yeah, it's on really cardboard yeah. with a little marker. <laughs> uh, yeah. who, who put that together? Yeah, exactly. That's the great guys downstairs, uh, yeah, our production yeah, partners. The art department, eh? Yeah, they, at IKS. They had the hair good, too. Oh, yeah. yeah Those guys sure. do phenomenal work yeah. downstairs. Uh, ahead of Chris Leary um, at CFL.ca, who's going to join us here in, in just a little bit. I want to get into some of the CFL stuff because uh, there's a lot going on. Um, the Toronto Argonne releasing SJ Green if you listen or you saw the release what a re- like what a what a statement it was um, from pinball Clemens this wasn't just a release when you released a guy uh, SJ requesting his release and uh, they didn't want to do it but uh, they they granted him his release uh, SJ Green hitting the free agent market and that brings up uh, quite the list of free agent oh. receivers oh I mean, thousand yard receivers, thousand yard receivers. Yeah. You think about the riders and, and their situation. Um, you know, what are they going to do with Shaq Evans? Are they going to be able to get him signed mm-hmm. ahead of free agency? Or is he going to hit the open market? Mm-hmm. He's the biggest question mark. Shaq. Oh, that guy's fantastic. Eh? Six one. Yeah. 210 and pounds. We've heard Devere Posey's name pop up as a potential landing spot or a destination for Saskatchewan mm-hmm. um, released by Montreal last week. Um, I'm, I'm hearing that. And, and Rod was mentioning that uh, that's kind of the fallback of Shaq. Evans, Mm -hmm. if they can't get him signed, Mm -hmm. maybe it'll be Devere Posey. Um, It appears the Riders are moving on from Naaman Roosevelt. Mm -hmm. That's the latest report, uh, that they're not going to sign him, that there haven't been contract talks. They're going to move on from Naaman Roosevelt. So that becomes a a little bit of a a question mark. Manny Arsenault, we don't know what's going to happen there. But you look at these free agents. Darrell Walker. He's just 28 years old. Oh, yeah. still. He, he, think about a couple of years ago. Everybody just loved him. And all of a sudden, you know, he, he's right up there. Shaq Evans. Yep. Deveris yep. Daniels. Yep. He's only 27. Yep. We had him on this program. Uh, Dominique Grimes in Ottawa. Mm-hmm. Yeah, another target. Is he that good? Dominique Grimes. He's solid. He's a solid receiver. Yep. But he's uh, not a thousand yard receiver. Well, you never <laughs> depends on the targets. Depends well, on the targets. Yeah. Devere Posey, SJ Green, who's approaching thirty five years old, by the way. SJ Green. I wonder, yeah. I wonder why he asked for the release. I don't quite understand that. I see Alan Lai says he's coming to the Riders. I don't know. Uh, yeah, Alan Lee uh, says SJ Green coming to the Riders. It's Lee. It's Lee. Alan Lee. Okay. So, Rod, uh, I know it's spelled L-Y, but I found out it's Lee, and I know you'd appreciate that. So, uh, SJ, Alan I Lee. think he's still got game. I mean, he's not the, the speedy guy, but he sure can find the seam and make catches. Yeah. You know, oh, yeah. other, you know the, there's another guy out there, Luke Tasker. Yep. You know, and he's a damn good he's Luke really Tasker, good. only 29 years yeah, old. Yeah, he's yep. a good one. Um, he's a, but healthy, healthy hasn't been, hey? Yeah. Hasn't been well, last healthy. year. Last yeah. year he wasn't healthy, so his targets were down. Yeah. Um, the other three that were on uh, Three Down Nation had a list of receivers. There was a couple of more on there. Armani Edwards, oh, who's going to be 32. Uh, he's still. But he's still a good oh, receiver. I like, I like he, he's guy. a terrific. They should never let him he, go out of here. I mean, he's a thousand years. He's, he's a fantastic receiver. Naaman Roosevelt, who's 32, and Darvin Adams, who's now 30 years old, the From Winnipeg Blue Bombers receiver. He's a great receiver. So the free agent, the list of free agent receivers is big. Yeah, That's it is. For sure. Really big. And there's a couple Canadians out there, too, you know, that, uh, you know, Mike Jones, you know, the kid that yeah. uh, he dropped the ball in the Grey Cup, but he's he's pretty darn good. He's uh, Nate Behar. Uh, Juan Breskison. Uh, 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 Lev- Levi Noel. Yeah. Breskison, who was hurt last year, yeah. he's he's made plays. Oh, you yeah. Know, so there's some good Canadians. Simon Ice, there's some good Canadians. Yeah, there is. So that'll be interesting um, as we as we see <coughs> moving forward, and then the Willie Jefferson situation as we continue to watch. Wow. Willie Watch wow. continues to be on. That doesn't sound right, does it? No, that doesn't. No. Work. <laughs> Willie Watch. No, 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 no that's not going to stick. <laughs> Cut it. <laughs> can you can you can you, you know, get that out of the? Yeah, we podcast? won't go. Yeah, we yeah. won't go with that. Yeah. Willie Watch doesn't work. No. <laughs> Sorry, Willie. Uh, Willie Jefferson, uh, Dave Naylor had the report that six of the nine teams in the CFL have reached out and contacted Willie's camp. Um, Ottawa, Edmonton, and Saskatchewan are the three who have not. That's according to Dave Isn't Naylor. Isn't that interesting? At Ottawa, Edmonton, Saskatchewan. Have money, not reached money, out to right? Money. But Montreal's on that list, and yeah. they're up against the cap, but 
Potentially yeah. saving room. Well, Posey gone. You know, I mean, I mean, they must have some room if they're, they're, you know, looking out there. And the Packers, he went to Green Bay, didn't he? At, at Tribe Green Bay. Who? Uh, Willie's, Willie. Willie's had a few. Yeah. Willie Jefferson. Yep, yeah, he's had a few. <coughs> um, so that's interesting. Um, you know, interesting where Willie will sign. The Micah Johnson situation in Saskatchewan. Um, you know, does he come back? Yeah, the highest paid defensive player last year. Well, it's not going to happen. But... He's not going to be the highest paid defensive player in the CFL. That will be Willie Jefferson, I would assume, yeah. um, should he you know, sign in the, in the Canadian Football League and not get an NFL contract. Um, but what happens to Micah Johnson? Because he's not going to want to take a pay cut. He was pretty effective in some games. But, I mean, he had 14 uh, uh, quarterback sacks the year before. He only had four with us last year. I wouldn't give up on him. No. And, but I, as I said to you before, he always had four hands on him. Yeah. Double team every play, just about. So, I, I agree with you. I wouldn't give up on him. I there, think. There's two linemen, Jagarad Davis, and the, the kid from uh, the kid from Hamilton. Um, Jagarad Davis. No, no, the other guy. I can't think of his name no. right now. But uh, there's two guys that are, are pretty darn good. And uh, Dylan Wynn. Dylan Wynn. <clears throat> and yeah. uh, the, those those two guys, I think they could come in and do some darn good stuff. I'm sure uh, Ty Katz will sign Wynn. He's a terrific defensive tackle. Well, uh, you never know. He hasn't signed it yet. So well, I mean. it leads us into Tuesday. And Clark, do we got Rod's list? Can we go to that ahead of uh, Chris O'Leary? Okay, here we go. So we Rod released his list of top free agents. Uh, this would have been a couple of weeks ago now. Um, but there it is, guys. Let's take a look at this list. Now, they're not all going to be available anymore. Uh, Clark, help me out here with who, if, I, if I'm missing anybody who's been signed. Nick Arbuckle. There's five, five he, there that aren't signed. He's locked up. Matt Nichols yeah. locked up. Cam Judge locked up. Bryant's um, locked up. Yep. Stanley Bryant's locked up. Um, Caleros. And Caleros is locked up. Yeah, so we're going to have to reshuffle this list. Rod, if you're watching, you got some homework to do, <laughs> maybe yeah. for Monday or Tuesday, um, as we update that list. But uh, who becomes your number one free agent target? I mean, Shaq Willie Evans. Me talking here? Well, well you, number, it's going to be Shaq Evans. Yeah. Well, yeah. But I'm if somebody new, uh, another guy I'd like to have, number 10 up there. Frankie Williams from Calgary. Boy, uh, what a dynamic! I want to ask Jeff about him he's because he, he, he obviously he obviously coached him. He had both punt returns and kick returns. Yeah. He's explosive. I think he'd be sensational. He, he had he had some good defensive stats. Yeah. Now, evidently, he uh, worked out for somebody in the NFL. So uh, you know, there's a there's a good chance there. But I'd like to ask Jeff about that one. But uh, Willie Jefferson's on the top. Remember when I came out, I said Shaq was on the top because I thought Willie was going to be going down south. He hasn't gone down south yet. So I think uh, Willie is is uh, you know he can come in. He, he can just dominate. He can just be such a he can win games for you. I just <clears> wonder <throat> how hard Winnipeg's trying to get him. Oh, keep, I, w- I would. Keep, th- I would think they're going to go on. Oh, right? I, I would. I would yeah. think they'd like to keep just like what I said about Saskatchewan. Yeah. Keep all the boys together and let's get after it. I'm sure Sask- uh, Winnipeg's going to try to do the same thing. Yeah, I, w- I would imagine that they they will. And, and Winnipeg is Willie's top destination. Yeah, I think yeah. Willie lo- and really enjoyed it there. And, and uh, it, yeah. you know, with with Richie, of course, Glenn Young has been gone, so that his coach has, has gone to Toronto. So we'll we'll see what happens with regards to that. But uh, you know. Hey, they won a great cup. Sean on the Facebook feed, disappointing that Naaman won't be back, according to Dave Naylor. Um, Wayne Grolo says he would love to see Dylan win in Ryderville. So, yeah, I, I know a lot of us uh, would, too. Uh, Casey Jones, uh, Micah fell off because Willie wasn't there this year to take more pressure. Well, Charleston Hughes still was. Yeah. yeah. Um, so... Interesting. We'll see what happens with Micah Johnson. Things like that happen. You know, you sign a big contract and it just, you know, and then the next year, you know, you bounce back. So I'm, that's what I'm looking forward uh, to seeing from him. Of course, him. he was injured a bit, too. During yeah, that he last had year, some, too, he he had some for sure. Yeah. And, and yeah. as fans, we only look at the at the key stats oh, yeah. that are yep. the sexy numbers, yep. the that's sacks, right. yep. the right. tackles, yep. knockdowns. And but there's a lot more to it that oh. coaches watch. Well, I had you, a long talk with Richie Hall the other day about him. And he thinks he's a heck of a football player. You, you, you know, when, when you're in it, you get an opportunity to watch the film. You watch the coach's film, and you can really, really, you know, have a real good look. You know, when you're watching line play on TV, it's a little more difficult. When you have the coach's film, you got, you know, the, you got the sideline, and then you got the, uh, the end zone shot, so you get a real good look, and you can really z- zero in on, on what's happening. Hey, you know, you can see stuff. You can see. All right, defensive line, <clears throat> defensive line coach. I want, and we were talking about that before the show game, I mean, before the show for the Rough Riders. We signed with the day. I guess a new 
defensive line coach. Well, the, Rod had this this morning. We'll go there, sure. Uh, that the Riders are expected to hire Ben Olson as the team's defensive line coach. He was at McNeese State, mm-hmm. so Ben Olson expected to be hired as the team's defensive line coach, and that'll that'll help round out the coaching staff. Mm-hmm. Uh, don't know a lot about him, mm-hmm. but. Uh, I don't know him. No. Mike know. Davis, who was here last year, was signed and went to Toronto. He went to Toronto. Yeah. yeah. So, um, okay with that one right now. How are we doing on Chris O'Leary, Clark? Hey, Chris, Chris O'Leary is ready. You want to go to break first? All right. We'll take a quick timeout, and then we'll go to Chris O'Leary, the managing editor and senior writer at CFL.ca. We'll talk some football on the other side, the Rod Peterson Show, here on Facebook Live and listen live at rodpeterson.com. You're watching Rod Peterson On Demand. For more of The Rod Peterson Show, visit rodpeterson.com or follow Rod Peterson on social media. 